why is it important to have good shape? Uh, if you can make a multiple purpose move, a move that does something else, attack, run to the center, whatever, that also is good shape, then it's going to be easier for you to live and also easier for you to have strong attacks. So it just makes your game a lot easier. So we often see uh, something like this, although it's usually on the third line, uh, where it's white's move and black doesn't have enough room to make a base and white squeezes him. Uh, and black doesn't have enough room for eyes. To save the black stone, he's got to run out to the center somehow. Well, what how? If he, this is the most common uh, move, it's a simple one point jump, which I will show you later, I'll turn it on upside. Uh, and you may not be thinking that this is shape at all, but whenever you have two stones somewhat close together and they have some kind of relationship, that's some kind of shape. So uh, this, on the other hand, has less shape and is a little slower in running to the center. Uh, this is very strong and this too is slow in running to the center. Uh, you could imagine some outer space move, and it's hard to even call that a black group because the black stones simply aren't connected. Uh, another thing that we often will see a beginner doing is trying to run with this shape, which is called a small knight's nice move. And uh, the problem is, is that this shape is cuttable. Uh, if the ladder works for white, white can cut this way, and then there's a ladder. Or if the ladder doesn't work, although it's a little bit more crude, white can cut this way. So there's a saying, don't run with scissors or the small knife move. So that's the first thing we want to see about shape. It's a lot easier to see bad shape. You may not know good shape, but you probably know bad shape. So what are these shapes? These shapes are the going from left to right, the empty triangle, a variety of dumpling or dango. Uh, the third one with the two empty triangles is the farmer's hat. And then our favorite, the B2 bomber. So probably the first shape that anybody knows is the empty triangle. What's wrong with the empty triangle? Well, both the black group and the white group have the same number of moves, but the black group has an overlapping liberty. It's easier to surround and capture. It's also pushing out in one fewer direction. So what's better, 90 5% of the time is to do something else, anything else, rather than the empty triangle. Usually it's this. Uh, and by the way, if it is an empty triangle, it's not considered empty if it's filled by a white stone. White's lost two liberties, black's lost two liberties, it's an equal wash. So we're not talking about the filled triangle, we're only talking about the empty triangle. Uh, and you can see what I was saying about not flexible, not making eyes, uh, not pushing out in many directions. It's an easy example. Now let's start to think about some good shape. Start thinking about shape that's going to begin to make an eye. And you probably all know this, and some of you may wrongly call it a ponuki. It's not a ponuki unless it has actually captured a black stone. One of the reasons we like ponuki so much is because white has played only three moves more than black. If, if there's no stone captured, it's taken four moves. But it's still the same shape, and we could also call it a flower or diamond shape. You can call it Panuki shape if you want, but it's not a true Panuki unless it's captured a stone. And if you wanted to make an eye there, you would have to control or occupy three out of those four corners. So let's take a look at our first shape, which I've shown you already, the one point jump. Here it is, I've turned it on side. And I'd like to make a couple of points. Um, the first is, I should stop saying um. Huh? Uh, the first is that uh, these shapes are not guarantees to make an eye. These are good shapes that begin to make eyes. But your opponent, he knows the shape too, and he's going to try to prevent you from making good shapes. He'll try to break the shape, as with this peep that breaks the shape. So these shapes are incomplete. Next thing I want to show you is I said that this move, uh, the one point jump, was hard to cut. Ah. It's hard to cut, but it's not impossible uh, if white has enough strength around it. So here we are, and white's got a lot of outside strength, and he says, oh, you think you're connected, huh? And white, black can uh, Atari, but black's got two cutting points, and he can defend only one, so this cuts his shape. 
And that will be true for many of the shapes that I will show you. Uh, if you want to judge whether a shape is weak or strong, you have to look at the neighboring op opposing groups. Uh, if your uh, enemies are strong close by, then your group is probably weak. So let's look at the next shape, which probably most of you have seen before. And it's no secret where the weak point is. I'm going to show you the weak points for these groups too. And the next shape is our diamond or flower shape. Now, I, I'm not going to play hide the ball with you. I want to let you know that in my white group there, the reference diagram, there's also a couple of bad shapes. Hey, guess what? The empty triangle is in the reference diagram. So uh, not every single place there is good, every single shape, but, you know, it's there. And also there is the bamboo joint. And the bamboo joint is not terribly good shape. And, you know, sounds like heresy. Uh, D zone. What do you mean it's not good shape? Well, it is good shape for staying connected. It's not that great for making eyes. And sometimes uh, when it gets surrounded by light, white can play inside the uh, bamboo joint, and sometimes black can't connect due to a shortage of liberty. So sometimes it gets trapped. What's better than this is the table shape, which I'm going to show next. I'm going kind of quickly, but I hope that uh, you guys are following along. We've got a lot of material to cover in a short period of time. This is the table shape, and this too is very good at uh, uh, staying connected, uh, but it's slightly better for, in terms of its eye-making potential. And you can guess that one of the weak points is here. Still makes good shape. And you can try doing this, but black can either make a bamboo joint or go here, depending on what's better for them. So it's a pretty strong shape. Here's an incomplete shape. Now let's add some white stones. Black to play. A lot of cue players you will see will play here. And that's sometimes the correct move. But what you'll often see a lot of Don players playing is this, because this is the vital point in the shape. Uh, so looking at those, This, as far as I know, doesn't have a name. Maybe it does have a name, but I've never heard of it. I call it either the J shape or the hook shape. And that's simply so we can talk about it. But understand that other people may not call it that. And if I were instead going to play in the vital spot, it would be this, which is sometimes called a half table. Sort of like a table with a wonky leg. Uh, and this is a slightly better shape most of the time. I'll show you another incomplete shape. Where's the vital point? Vital point is here. Uh, yep. And if we cover the vital point, then we get a completed shape, the double table or mouth shape. Um, now, you can imagine that if white were to play here, he'd be immediately captured. That's a net. Unless white's got supporting stones. Now he could pull whoops, wrong color. Let's try that again. Now he'd be able to play there because he can connect out both ways. So it does have a weakness, but, you know, it needs supporting stones. This shape I'm going to discuss together with the next shape. And uh, there's a proverb which says, play in the center of three stones. So the shape before this is sort of like an almost there, not quite yet kind of idea. Uh, this is good shape, playing in the center of three. And it's also good, although it's not in the reference diagram, if you play one further away. This is also good shape. Now, some people will play this, and it's not as good a shape, but it can be fixed. So this is good shape, but it took two moves to do it instead of one. Now let's see how this might come about. White peeps 
and now we've got a string of three. Now, not all the time, but a lot of the time, what is, uh, and, and White might play away, he's, he's made a forcing move, he doesn't have to defend his forcing move, uh, and if he Tanoki's, where should Black play? Often the answer is here, this clamp, and that's a good attacking uh, move. Won't be right 100% of the time, but it'll be right a fair amount of the time. Next shape we saw before a little bit, the small knight. And if white already has a stone in place, uh, white can cut that shape. The shape is cuttable. Now, when I say the shape is cuttable, and now black can capture either in a ladder, if the ladder works, or if the ladder works for white, he can try doing a net. Let me mention a couple things. If you have a choice between capturing a, in a ladder or a net, most of the time it's better to capture in a net. It's more local, and there's no ladder breakers involved. So if you have a choice, capture in a, in a net rather than a ladder. Um, if, the, if the ladder works uh, for black, ah, that's not right. The hardest part of this lecture is, is navigating the, uh, uh, the, the uh, game tree. Uh, if the ladder doesn't work for uh, white, then white can cut another way. But the point that I'm making is that the small knights group, the uh, small knights move is cuttable. The shape itself is cuttable. Um, and that means that it's great when your position is strong and you don't care about being cut. So it's good for attacking when your position is strong. And we'll see that in some of the example games. And it's bad for running away to the center when you do care about being cut. And the last thing I'll tell you about the small knights move is that even though the shape is cuttable, it's not cuttable all the time. It depends upon other stones in the area. And also, if it's very close to the edge, that by itself may uh, protect the small knights move from getting cut. So let's look at another shape. How could we uh, improve the small knights move in order to reduce its cuttability? And we add another stone, it's a small knight's move with another stone, and this is called the dog's face. I use it all the time. And you can see, if we do the same thing, if white has a stone in place and tries to cut, I got you! Black can capture. Now there's two ways to capture, and they're not equal. Uh, one way to capture is simply to go, oh, sorry! But uh, this is not the best way to capture. There's two problems with it. First problem is, it gives white a free move. And that free move may be useful. But there's a worse problem. Imagine, as I mentioned before, that there's a lot of white stones in the area. So I'm going to make white ridiculously strong here, just to make it obvious. And here's the problem. White can Atari this way, and now the eye that Black thought he was getting is false. Black can try to run away, but because of White's strength, sooner or later, Black's going to have to capture, and that became a false eye. So what's better than that? And where am I in my game tree? There I am. What's better than that for black is to capture using a net. And now you don't have those problems. So that's usually the better way to capture. So enough of the dog's face. Let's go on to the next shape. This is called the tripod group, and I always apologize for it because, uh, it's, uh, sorry, it's the tripod shape. There is something else completely different called the tripod group. It's a corner group, and it's one of those life and death uh, shapes in the corner. There is a good article uh, in Sensei's library uh, on the tripod group in the corner. But this is the tripod shape. It has the same name, and it's completely different, and don't blame me. And this is another very strong shape, very hard to... Uh, um, Capture it, although, of course, 
you know, what's black going to do here? Uh, if he goes here, he makes an empty triangle, and he can be cut, which then depends on a ladder. Uh, or if he goes here, because he doesn't like that ladder, he can get cut this way, and this may too wind up uh, uh, being capturable or not. But the shape itself is fundamentally a strong shape. Hard to disconnect those st stones. Now, this shape is one of my favorites. It's called the Big Ben. Uh, and this is different uh, from all the other shapes that I have shown you. The other shapes are sort of trying to make an eye almost by brute force. This shape you should think of in terms of flexibility and willingness to sacrifice a stone or more. And that's a different kind of idea than most of the other shapes. Um, it can be used for attacking. Imagine that Black had to jump out, and then he starts counterattacking one of the neighboring stones. Or it can be used for defense. And I'm going to show you a wonderful game where it is used for defense. Now, it has a weak spot, obviously. And there it is. Uh, whether White can play there immediately depends on whether White has other friends in the neighborhood. Um, if not, then this stone may wind up getting trapped in a shortage of liberties. And Black has a few different responses. He might do this, for example. And White says, oh, I'm going to cut you. I'm going to cut you so bad. And see, I cut you. And Black says, that's okay. I've made a good position. So I'm not too worried about that. Or uh, Black may answer another way. He may simply connect one of those sides. And White again sings his song, I'm going to cut you. And he cuts, and Black says, Atari. And White says, see, I captured a stone. And Black says, see, I made a good position. So the Big Bend uh, has inherent in it the idea of possible sacrifice and flexibility in order to get good shape. Now I'd like to show you a few shapes that are not in my reference diagram. Uh, this is the large knight's move. And like the small knight's move, it can be cut. It's a cuttable shape. In fact, if anything, it's a little looser than the small knight's move. And like the small knight's move, it can be strengthened by adding another stone. And this is the horse's face, or long sake bottle. Imagine a sake bottle turned on its side. The dog's face, which uh, uh, I mentioned a few minutes ago, I should have said, has another name. And that is the small sake bottle. And this one I just put up there now is the long sake bottle or horse's face. It looked more like a horse's face if it was oriented differently. And it has, uh, it's a little weaker than the dog's face, but it's still another good strong shape. And this is one of my favorite shapes. I just started appreciating a couple of years ago. It's the big bulge. It's used for attack. It's used for surrounding a corner. Uh, it's used for defense. And you can imagine, you know, if, if white has a stone, or two, sorry for, for the dings, black can simply block. And this is another property of many good shapes, which is they change. They convert to another good shape. And this became the tripod. And even like this, with white getting some extra moves, uh, you know, white can cut, but black can do things. He might be able to capture in a ladder. Uh, he might be able to capture in a ladder this way. So it's a very strong shape. There are two usual attack points for the big bulge. Uh, white can play here, which is easy enough for black to defend. But this is the idea here is white's going to try and surround uh, black, and he's focusing on, white is focusing on these two stones and hitting what would be a shape point for those two stones. What works uh, often a little better, the more serious and more aggressive uh, shape point is here. Ah, that's not there. Erase, undo, click on, it's here at R2. Uh, this is the weak point in the shape, and black tries to stay connected, and white comes up and now it's a similar pattern to what we saw in one of the earlier shapes. Uh, depending on which way the ladders work, black can connect here, and maybe this ladder works for black, or maybe it's the less serious cut if it's not, if it doesn't work, or sometimes black will go here. 
and uh, protect this side. And it looks funny here because it's so close to the edge. But then it's a question whether this cut is serious and whether the ladder works for black or not. In any case, the way you start attacking the big bulge, this is the weak point. Uh, this is the panther shape. It's sometimes used to protect a corner. We'll see that in some of the games. And it's often used to either slide underneath into your opponent's moyo or to reach out into the center a little bit faster than he does. So let's change this just a little bit and see how this might come about. So for example, black squeezes white and white jumps out. Black peeps. White connects. And black says, oh, I'm going to run faster than you into the center. And you can see that it's a strong shape that's being used to run quickly. It does have some weakness if white has surrounding friends. Let's give white a couple of extra stones. And now white can play here. Normally this would be captured in a ladder, right? But if white has ladder breakers on both sides, then this is playable. So it's a little unusual, but it does exist, so I thought I'd show it to you. And I have another shape to show you. And I'm going to put this in the center just because I'm running out of space. It's number 20. And that is a high table. And that is another common good shape. And I want to show a couple of things here. Firstly, as I mentioned briefly, Yes, you can use it to attack, true. This is called the broken table. White's shape is the broken table. A, a uh, regular table would be here. Uh, if white were to play here, then, you know, it has some disadvantages. Oh, you peeped me. Now I make an empty triangle. So you will frequently see a Don level player playing this broken table. And if white, if black were to push through, uh, it converts to another shape, the tripod shape. And that's the reason why I picked this to show. It's another case of one shape converting to another. Not all good shape is based on a flower or diamond pattern. This is the turtle shape, and I'll show it in a couple of the games, a couple of the example games. And it is another good shape. It makes only one eye, but it is a strong and powerful shape. So I thought I'd show that to you. Uh, it's what Guojuan calls fat shape. Here's a move that black plays. It's not this exact shape necessarily, but any move the black plays to get some room to make eyes is fat shape. And black could play a fatter shape. And the fatter the shape is, the more room there is for white to come in. But it's a nice concept, the idea of fat shape. And then the last thing I want to show you is some shapes to remember. These are the shapes I want you to come away with remembering. Uh, table shape, double table, tripod, dog's head, big bulge, I got Panther, Big Bulge, and Big Ben. Now I'd like to make a few uh, general comments. Um, I've said already that shape is a tool, but not a goal by itself. How do we use these shapes? Uh, you want to make multi-purpose moves. Moves that threaten to make an eye, that threaten to connect, that threaten to kill, uh, forcing moves. And if you make them and also make good shape, it makes your game earlier. I've mentioned before, if the only move that works is bad shape, play bad shape. Uh, how do we use them? We join or chain or link shapes together. Um, and I will show you that in the example games.